All right. Hello, YouTube. And um, I just suddenly drew blank. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite, my most favorite texture packs. Show off video for it. Now, first of all, I didn't make any of these packs except the one called the Sydney pack. Well, of course, that's the one that I made. And yeah. So let's get going. I haven't actually opened the test world. It's a very old test world yet, so. Let's see if I can even find it. It's so old. Texture test world. I had a huge lagging issue there. I don't know what was up with that. Sorry, it's still actually trying to convert the chunks, I think. This is brand new. What the? That's. That's messed up. I have 99999 levels of experience. Okay, whatever. Alright, so this is the texture test world. I also wanted to show it off because it's kind of cool. I should probably be in creative mode. I don't know why I didn't download the creative mode one in the first place. You know what? Let's get some music going. Alright, so you know. Everybody loves this. Oh. I also wanted to show you. I guess I don't have it. I also do like the Minecraft animated texture pack. <laughs> It is the texture pack that was featured in the um, song, the 1.5 update song. Yeah, so, now, first I'm going to show you my very first texture pack that I ever downloaded. Combat Craft. Now, good old Combat Craft here. It's been around since beta 1.5. Hasn't been updated since. So, um... You can see here, I've actually converted it to the new format. These chests, I actually did them myself. Um, you know, beta 1.5 had the old chest stuff, so. So let's first go around and I'll give you a survey over the area. You can see everything. That's an ender crystal. Never noticed that before. Probably don't want to hit that. We'll save that for the end of the video. Hit your portal. Sticky and normal piston. Okay, then here's some minecart stuff. Looks pretty cool. I've used this texture bag normally. In some of my videos, I think. Then... Huh. I actually got this back in beta 1.8. So that this area wasn't here. I actually had kind of thought that it had been during the 1.9 pre-release, but I guess not. This has been remodeled. This is from beta, I mean not beta, version 1.1 though. So it's still relatively old. So not all of the blocks are going to be here. So let me go ahead and show you redstone block. Oh wait, this doesn't even have a change texture for redstone blocks. <laughs> I'm not going to have to change <laughs> Hello piggy. Yeah, so, uh, let's get away, because that's kind of getting annoying. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of interesting. I love this pack. And I'm not really going to do too much with most of the packs. I'm just going to show you around the, I'm just going to mainly show you around my pack. All right, so now. I think the next pack that I ever downloaded was a faithful pack, so. Now, of course, faithful pack has been updated. Oh. I don't know if any of you ever tried that, but if you stand on top of an ender crystal, you'll catch on fire if you're in survival mode. Yeah, I'll just give you, well, it's actually exactly the same as the normal pack, it's just HD. Then, somebody else um, 
was kind enough to make it a 64 pack. The 64 pack, I forgot to say, looks really good, but I'm getting a whole 9 FPS. My computer can't handle it. But look at how nice it looks. It makes it look really cartoony. Um, let me check my graphics settings. Yeah, it all looks good. So yeah, quick survey over the map now. Just look at how beautiful it looks. I mean, seriously. Now, let's go to Wolfcraft. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I don't remember if I showed you around the um, actual mob area with combat craft, but there there's only a couple of them to change, and I just realized I'm on peaceful. We're not going to be able to see any of the hostile mobs. Probably should be on easy. The only mobs that were changed with combat craft were hostile mobs, so yeah. Oh gosh, I love this pack so much. Take a, look at, take a look at the obsidian. That's one of the big things about this pack. Is that almost everything's animated. And random mobs. Is, it's compatible with random mobs. So you can see that. Villagers look different. There's random pigs, which I think is kind of funny. Some of them are in mud, some of them aren't. Yeah. It just looks so beautiful. I personally think. Should have somehow made a way out of there. That's kind of silly. So yeah, that's really it for this one. It looks really nice, but yeah. Now LB photorealism. Really love this one. Look at this. It looks so realistic. It's like not even funny. Just look at this. It's amazing. I forgot to say, it's just really amazing. It's just incredibly amazing. How realistic they made it look. I actually realized now that I haven't shown you any of the hostile mobs. I'll have to show you that here in just a second. There's an ender crystal. Um, what are those? Sponges? Yeah. Sponges. Alright, that's my asylum. <laughs> That's where we just were. I think it's in the entryway where you get to the hostile mob area. Before the double door code was changed. Uh, just because I don't want creepers to blow up this area. Um, I'm just going to push the revenge button. Well, I guess they're behind glass, so it doesn't really matter. So, monster spawn here, and then there's a, there's a nether portal right here. That was weird. I think that was a Hello, Mr. Gas. You're gonna be really friendly. Yeah, you are, aren't you? There's the Enderman. I'm out of here. This is crazy. It was drowning at my voice. It's drowning my voice. Okay. This is probably ending up to be a really long video, but I just love I love texture packs. And I think up here. The next texture pack I show is gonna require me to be up here, so yeah. Okay, so this is the color of the grass right now. Oh, um, there's a few other things that have changed, but also, hang on. This is the color of the grass now. Pretty, huh? Yeah, this is actually the Ant Venom Pack. I have just converted it to... Actually, I've just combined it with the Faithful 64 Pack. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. 
It's really not much had been changed, but there was a thing that had leaves on, right? Yeah. Also, the leaf color has been changed. Um, I don't, I don't think the asylum color has been changed, but yeah. So now my texture pack, the one we're actually going to be featuring in this video. Yes, it's a 16 pack, but I had to make it 16 for certain reasons. Now I'll be using this pack in my videos from now on. So it's got very old wooden planks texture. As you can see. It's got the ant venom pack stuff in it. Um, it's got the old gravel texture, if I can find the gravel anywhere. <laughs> There's a gravel. Can't find the gravel. There's gravel. And if we go over to a furnace, or dispensers, or anything along those lines for that matter, it will have a stone top. And also dispensers. One thing that I did change is that dispensers have the same texture when they're facing upward. So that's kind of cool. So yeah. And also, it's the old dispenser texture, and you're, if you were wondering. Mob spawners have the blue, the older blue texture. I don't think the iron door te texture was changed, but I can't remember. Um. Probably forgetting some things, but... Um, there's just many things. Oh yeah, old cobblestone and mossy cobblestone texture. <laughs> Old bricks texture, very old bricks texture for that matter. Uh. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the ore blocks were changed to their original textures, not the really early original textures though, because um, uh, I couldn't make them have the side textures like that. So, but mainly the most noticeable one is the iron block texture. You can see that's kind of the older one, and the edges of all ore blocks have been changed, except for, um, except for Lapis. That's the only one that didn't. And none of the ores have been changed. Really not much was changed, but yeah. So, yeah, there's really not much else, but I just thought that was worth sharing. I just thought that was worth sharing. My favorite texture packs. And, uh, yeah. Oh, also, the title screen logo has been changed to the extremely old one. And, one other thing is that the Mojang splash screen is the one from Alpha. It's a, it's the purple one that says Mojang Specifications. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.